reselling some rock guards on the Supra. Uh, this car, you can tell this area down here below kicks up a ton of rocks. I do have paint protection film that goes all the way down to the bottom. So I am gonna attempt doing this without removing uh, the wheels. Uh, the front's very easy to do, super fast. The back, that's where we'll have just some tricks to it. But there's just these rivets right here. Uh, one, two, three, four. You need to poke into them, pry them out. Then we're gonna slip the rock guard back behind the molding, put the new rivets in, good to go. So fronts will be super easy. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna walk you guys through to do it. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. The back will be trickier for sure. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, install these and uh, get a little bit more protection here on the car. All right, so clean this down with small purpose cleaner. Took, I don't even know what this is, just kind of like a hole punch. And just went in here to each one of the plastic rivets, poked a hole. Now we're gonna try and lift those, pull those out because the kit does come with some new ones. Boom. Okay. All out. Really easy, really fast. I just kind of use like this micro flathead. It'll zoom in. Just kind of this little micro flathead. Just pried it open enough to get just my pliers on it and came off really good. I am going to want to clean behind here, but there's a couple ways you can do this. You can install it on the outside here, or you can do it on the inside. I'm going to do it on the inside. So I'm gonna pull this, clean this, get it ready to put the new plastic rivets in and the set will be done. You know, I do recommend getting behind here. You can see there's where my paint protection film goes to, but I recommend pulling out the uh, pieces of plastic rivet that you kind of punch through. So I'm just gonna wipe this down and uh, then we'll slide the piece in ready to go. All right, so what I did is, it doesn't seem to be lining up exactly how I'd like. I thought maybe this would be a little bit more flush but this is where everything is supposed to line up um, from what I can tell. But I just went ahead and just set this in there just to kind of hold uh, the spots. The only piece I had trouble with or, or was just this lining up with um, the uh, rock guard. So I think this is good. I'm gonna probably just double check um, some other YouTubers just to make sure that this is exactly kind of how theirs lined up as well uh, before I go ahead and just kind of hammer these in softly but i'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of them lined up and they're pretty easy to do um you know th there's uh basically just that little end that just kind of sticks out and then just down here um all i've been doing is yeah just just line them in like that it's actually really really easy i've had some other sets of rock guards and obviously it depends on uh the manufacturer that you're buying and uh these so far have been probably my favorite to do, especially the front ones. The back ones are always a totally different story. So this hole is off just a little bit. There we go. So those are in. I'm just gonna check fitment from other places just to make sure that's how theirs lined up. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see there, I've had these before. They've really helped save a lot of damage to this lower area. But this place down here, I can just tell is just gonna get peppered with rocks and I just want to try and keep it protected um, the best that I can. All right, there's the fitment. Everything looks good. These super easy to do. Probably my favorite rock guards that I've installed. I've done my Camaro. 
Now I've done my Supra. These were, these were a cinch. All right, gonna move on to the back here and we have three bolts back here that we need to remove. The best way to remove them is with an eight millimeter. Um, you're gonna be able to take those bolts off. And I do recommend, if you don't wanna fight this, the best thing to do is to remove off the rear wheel. I, I don't like doing it, but um, on my Camaro, this is how I did it as well. Uh, so I am going to attempt to do it myself. The bolts will come off really easy with the eight millimeter. You have some spacers on it. The best way that works in my opinion is just getting like a little kind of like Phillips bit um, and then just some locking pliers. And I'll show you guys that step uh, when we get to it. But let's go ahead and let's take off um, these three bolts. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys off of there. You have enough room back here to get these off. This is the easy part. So that's what that looks like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two, and then I'll show you guys uh, the process to be able to uh, put the spacers on and start putting the rear rock guard on. And I am going to just go ahead and spray uh, this back fender just to kind of clean any debris because that's where the rock guard's gonna sit and don't need it to cause any extra wear on the paint here. So just gonna try and clean this off really good just so it sits on there. Good, just use small purpose cleaner. Uh, you can use your detail or whatever you guys prefer to use. All right, this is the hardware that we have to work with. Um, that is how they're gonna go. So I recommend putting in the top one first um, just to kind of get it in place to kind of hold it to be able to do the other ones. I'll uh, show you guys kind of how I'm doing that. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm um, just gonna go ahead and put this on. We're gonna get this top one started and then I don't know how much space I have to play with here. So, you know, depending on the space and how much I have um, will depend on the tool that I use, but I think I'm gonna end up going with this setup. All right, so just before I get this screwed in very tightly, I wanna be able to hopefully show you guys. So the spacer is gonna go back behind here and then your little, uh, just call it O-ring or washer is gonna go underneath the screw. Um, this seems to be working really well. Um, you know, we're not making light years of progress, but at the end of the day, I'm just kind of going turn by turn, and it is it is actually working pretty good. Um, and this has been the fastest that way that I've been able to see to do it. So you're just just know, guys, these spacers are going back behind the rock guard, and then your screw's coming through, and it's gonna come through the spacer into the hole, and then you're just gonna tighten it down. And the reason I did the top one first is it's gonna allow me to play around with this, you know, get it kind of in the right hole um, and to, you know, really make this easy. My guess is, is the top one is probably the easiest to do and the hardest one is probably the bottom just given space, but we'll go ahead, try the other ones. But so far this is, this is pretty snug. Um, I'll probably try and tighten it up just a little bit more. Um, and my experience with these guys is these most likely are gonna rust. So, you know, you can eventually spray paint them. Um, but my experience over time with these getting moisture is these bolts are gonna rest. All right, guys, I am gonna call it there. Um, top two, extremely fast, easy to do without removing the tire. Bottom, pain in the butt. Um, it just, it feels like it needs to go down lower and so it kind of comes in at a steep angle. Um, this is my current fitment. I don't like it, but that's about, I mean, that's about as good as I, I can get it. Maybe I'll try and hold this over and tighten it a little bit more, but I do have just kind of that small 
gap? Did I do it wrong, guys? Is that kind of how it looks? Maybe it's just the shape of the, the fender well, but, uh, and obviously that's in really far, but my experience, I, I had to get it in that far to really even just get it to hold. So um, I'm gonna probably, probably play around with it some more. Maybe I'll give an update if I get this looking a little bit better. I mean, it doesn't bug me. I mean, it's on there, it's not going anywhere. It's where it's supposed to go on the car. Um, I don't know, I just, the OCD in me doesn't like that right there, but too, at the same time, it's it's hitting down there. So it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's just plastic. And, and it may be because I have that too tight over there. I don't know, but honestly, when it was looser, there was a bigger gap here. So yeah, I'm not sure. I will say that on this bottom piece, I had to, I had to pull it over hard with my right hand laying down on the ground and then try and screw this with my left hand with this setup here. It's not ideal, probably best just to take off the wheels. Um, it is doable, you can do it. Um, if I get this looking a little bit cleaner, I will update you guys, otherwise that ends today's video. Fronts, piece of cake. Top two bolts here without, with the tire on, piece of cake. Just this bottom one because all the spa spacers are longer. I know on my Camaro, when I did my Camaro, I had a shorter and longer spacer. It actually made it a lot easier. But um, yeah, that's how they look. I'm gonna see if others kind of have the same fitment or if it's just me. Um, I'm gonna try and snug some of these up a little bit and I'll update you guys if it changes. All right, guys, I moved on over to the driver's side and did the side. And would I do this again with the tires on? Absolutely, yes. Um, I found a better method on my second set that it literally took me 10, maybe 15 minutes to do the side where the other side took me probably 30 plus minutes. Um, what I recommend doing is get this top one in first and tighten it. That gives you flexibility pulling it back and forth. What I learned and what I did over there is I immediately went to the second one, then I did the third one. I found it so much easier to do the top one then do the bottom one because this bottom one wasn't so much as an angle going down because I didn't have this, this middle one in. So I would work top one, bottom one, get it in there tight, and then you can work in this middle one. And it is a lot easier to do. Um, and it really wasn't a pain. I don't know of any other tools that will allow you to do it better than kind of this setup. Um, but at the end of the day, that is what I found worked best. Um, my fitment over here, yes, there's just a teeny bit, but you know what, honestly, that's also just kind of, where the fender goes and kind of how it's cut right there. So kind of the best that I could, um, but the important thing is, is that it's on there and uh, that uh, it's, it's, not, it's not going anywhere. And most importantly, let's make sure that they work.